Eagles coaching news at that. The Eagles have parted ways with offensive coordinator Brian Johnson and have hired former Chargers and Cowboys offensive coordinator and the Boise State stud, Kellen Moore. <laughs> Kellen Moore was go. the OC in Dallas for four years and the OC mm-hmm. in L.A. Uh, just this past season. Have you ever have you met Kellen? I have not. Um, played against him a lot, obviously, when he was in Dallas. Yeah. I was surprised, actually, when he got fired uh, the one year in Dallas. It felt like their offense and – was you know, pretty good. even just like two years before that, he's being touted as, you know, head coaching uh, candidate, one of the top ones up there. Uh, he's been one of the brightest minds uh, for y- young offensive coaches um, for some time now. So um, I'll be interested to see where your offense uh, kind of the direction that it goes, man. I'm, I'm very interested to see how that thing goes. He's done a little bit of everything. You know, obviously he comes from Boise and it's a. Uh, you know, I think it was some, wacky back then, man. It was, it was damn hard sure to want was. to say wacky. It was a different offense, though, and they were. They not, did a lot of stuff. I mean, it was creative. That's what it comes it down to. There and I is. think um, there was a lot of people, and I think even looking back ourselves, that realized that we could have uh, potentially been a little bit more creative, I guess, offensively. And I think Kellen will bring a lot of that. He did it in in Dallas. He did it. I'm sure this past year in the Chargers, even though I didn't watch him that much. You know, everybody wants to bring up the the. Ezekiel Elliott uh, snapping the ball type thing. Uh, that creativity didn't work in that play, uh, but it's not always going to work. Uh, and I think, uh, you know, he's been one of the best uh, offensive minds uh, in the game. I'm excited to see what he brings to the offense and how it evolves with him uh, at the helm as the offensive coordinator. <laughs> what? What are you laughing about? Dude, that play was electric. I just want to, I still want to know what was you're about happen. to find out. I you can't gotta wait to ask, ask him. him. I'm for be, sure. I think you're spot on with it though. Zeke was supposed to get the ball. He just got, he got hit at the line of scrimmage. And exactly. it, it threw the whole thing get off. off of the ball. It threw the whole thing off. Yes. And there's the only, it's the only way that happens. Yeah. And they've also let go of the defensive coaches, uh, Sean Desai and Matt Patricia, but have uh, since announced that they're signing Vic Fangio to their uh, new defensive court as their new defense coordinator. Um, Fangio with the Dolphins uh, mutually decided to part ways after one season last year and is formerly um, a consultant with the Eagles back in 2022. So he familiar face in the building, obviously an NFL staple. Fangio has been around for years and years and has had a lot, a lot of success in the NFL. Jason thoughts on Fangio taking over the defense. Yeah. Vic is, uh, I mean, listen, he's, uh, his uh, reputation precedes itself. Uh, he's been one of the best coordinators in the NFL, uh, you know, since I've been in it. I think uh, every stop he's been, uh, those defenses have been pretty darn successful. Obviously, the Dolphins this last year got riddled with a lot of injuries there down the stretch. Uh, but you know, I think everywhere he's been, uh, he's 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 been one of the best with, uh, out there with the defensive coaches. Um, he's revolutionized the game to a certain extent. There's a lot of people talking about the Van- Fangio defense and how more and more coordinators have taken from it. And there's never, um, you know, a more sign of respect than uh, imitation, right? Whenever somebody's trying to do what you're doing well, that speaks to how good you are at it. Um, I've had the pleasure of playing Vic in Chicago, uh, Denver, uh, and Miami. And, um, you know, he's just a guy that, first of all, he's brilliant. He can do a lot of different things. I still remember playing against him in Chicago, and he kept doing just – he kept putting 6-1, like, goal line defense out against our 11 personnel, and we did not know how to react to it. And it threw us up for a loop because we had no plan for it coming in. They hadn't really done it, and um, it threw us off offensively. And um, that's the type of coach he is. He's going to find a way to throw people off. He's going to find a way to mess up your run fits and try and get you to, to uh, you know, the, the looks that you think you're getting, you're not getting. And uh, and Vic's uh, been among the best at it. As you said, he was a consultant with the Eagles in 2022. I'm excited. I think everybody in the building is excited to have Vic back. Brian Johnson, Sean Desai, Matt Patricia, all those guys are phenomenal coaches. This yeah. is part of the shitty part of the business. You know, you when when things don't go well, you know, there's going to be changes. And our is everything with the offense to be blamed on Brian Johnson? Of course not. Brian Johnson is a great coach. I don't care what anybody says. Um, I, I know for a fact. He is an outstanding coach, and he can be a great coordinator. As he was for the majority of the year. Yeah, and the and the previous years as a, as a quarterback coach. It's just, you know, there's a lot of things that stalled out the offense, and the defense is the same thing. Um, so, you know, I feel for those guys or for guys that get let go in these situations because it's never uh, any at any time is it any one guy. 
never. It's it, that's that's the unfortunate side of this business, but. Um, I am excited to see what Kellen Moore brings to the team and, and Vic Fangio. And yeah, I think it'll be, it'll be interesting. All right. Now there's also a, uh, a lot of fans, uh, Eagles fans upset with Sirianni's uh, yeah. role now, you know, just a head coach. I think that's Eagles yeah, just being upset on the season. Uh, you can't, there have been plenty of NFL teams that have had unbelievable success with, uh, coach that is more of the game manager and letting the OC and the DC call the plays. Listen, I mean, two of the teams were right in the AFC championship and NFC championship, John Harbaugh and Dan Campbell. Right. I think, um, you know, Nick is, first of all, I don't really know what, I don't know if they've actually said what his role is, I guess, going to be on the offense. I know he said he's going to do more of like the head coaching responsibilities, I think in his press conference, but yeah, he was, he's on cue saying that Nick. And I really, mean this is one of the best coaches I've been around and talking about coaching situational ball, really understanding what to do uh, in the right moment, um, motivating guys. Uh, they, we, we coach things up in team meetings and hold people accountable better than uh, pretty much any other coach I've been around. And I think he does a lot of things. Uh, you know, players love him. They'll play hard for him. Um, I know it was a really shitty year for us, uh, but, you know, I think that Nick has a lot to bring uh, as value as the head coach and the uh, organizational leadership that he provides for the team. Yeah. To me, I look at it as, Hey, I think Kellen Moore is a pretty bright guy. And I think he's going to bring all I know now is I know we have a great coach in Nick Sirianni. We just got a great defensive coordinator, a uh, defensive mind in Vic Fangio, and we got a great offensive mind in Kellen Moore that just got hired. So in my opinion, we're adding more, um, you know, talented individuals, to continue to be a part of the staff. So whoever is calling plays, I know that we get better having Kellen Moore in the building because I think he's a great uh, mind and has proven that over the last five years. Nick moving to like a head coaching position, he removed himself from play calling duties last year with Shane Steichen, right? Yeah. That ended up working out pretty damn good. Nick has shown in his tenure with the Eagles that he's going to do whatever he thinks is in the best interest of the Philadelphia Eagles. And he's going to make those decisions and he doesn't care about how other people perceive it. He doesn't care about anything other than what's in the best interest of the team. And to me, I think players respect the hell out of coaches that operate on that level and communicate things like that. And um, he's a very unselfish guy. Um, and uh, yeah, I'm with you. I'm with you, brother. That's my viewpoint on it. We got one more in the uh, in the Eagles coaching news uh, that broke today as we're recording this. The Eagles are expected to hire former Seahawks defensive coordinator Clint Hurt to be their uh, defensive line coach, man. And uh, he looks like he could put a hurt on somebody. No doubt. Dude, this dude, I, I don't know if I was with him at the Pro Bowl when he was in Seattle when the coaches were coaching our side, but I've, I know I've played against him a lot. Um, I just feel like he's going to be a guy that everybody's going to love in that. But you just look at him, and you can tell he's a guy that's going to motivate the shit out of you. Just look <laughs> at that guy, man. He's got that. Like, he's going to get Campbell the best out of you. <laughs> you know what I mean? He's got that biting kneecaps. Or, you, you could know, just, just tell. Like, Big Clint, dude. Big Clint, oh, man. Oh, man. Well, Excited to have him as well. 